here we go. Just to show you any panniers. I know they're not much to write on about. They're cheap as chips. But I do like the way they run. There's two variants here. The front ones. Oh seven six zero. Oh, it's a bit out of focus. Try and get him back here. There we go. Um, class 2721, so it says on the box. I do have the box, it's not in great condition. I'll just show you there. We've got crew in there as well. And there it goes. And the other one. Uh, just the GWR the variant 2759 but I always like the shape of these and I think for the price I think they really, really did a pretty good job with the detailing on this I know that uh, the whistles there are, are a bit burnt, but they are brass on both versions. Coal load is not that realistic, but at least it's, you know, it looks like it's been used on both. It's identical. Ooh. Business cameras all over the shop today. Sorry about that. But they are pretty tidy little locos. I like them for what they are. This one was in abysmal condition when I bought it. it didn't cost that much. Um, it just uh, it was out of quarter, so I um, recorded it. And uh, for some reason, the engine had been, or uh, well, the motor had been chewing the the cog from the center drive of the cog in the center wheel there. So I've had to raise it a mil or two to to make it bite. But it's running a good well again. And once I sorted out the quartering issue, it's a nice little smooth runner. So it's got a bit of running left in it, yeah. Anyway. We'll chuff off again and see how we go. See, so that's pretty nice. That's a smooth takeoff. There we go. This is a short one today. I just haven't been doing much lately. I'll catch up again with you very soon. I'll just let it run by one more time.